these standards are very important because the public is always at risk, whether it's flooding, whether it's in a hospital where thieves can come in or people can try to do something to you. People are always at risk. We were just talking about healthcare security management system. Uh, healthcare security is very important because we know that the people working in the hospital are at risk. For example, if you are in a big city, people shoot each other, stab each other, and they try to finish off the job in the hospital and even trying to prevent the doctors. People working in ambulances are assaulted by other people. So people are at risk. It's the workers, it's the public, they all are at risk. And if you want to do it properly, the protection, then you must know what risks you want to prevent and how to prevent them and how to check on them. And that's why we use a system of we plan what we are going to do, we do it, we check on it and we act again on improving on it. It's the plan, do, check, act cycle. So we improve continually and that's why we need standards to help us, to show us how we do it. Well, companies, the public and government. Companies, because they can profit, they can sell more, they can sell better, make their products more clear, they can export more, are more competitive. Uh, the European Union is very keen on promoting European industry. And I mean by European Union also the European Free Trade Association. So it's all of Europe that can profit from it. The public because they get better protection and they know what they're up to because also people can be resilient themselves they can protect themselves from other things they know what to do and they know how to act and government because you don't need so much regulation and the more regulation you need the more complex things get so if you can get companies and the public to do the thing themselves it's better for government also, and they know that it's good. In general, there has been a lot of studies made by uh, large uh, companies how much money you invest in standardization, how much money it will give back to you in the long run. Of course, you must invest first, but every euro that you invest will come back, or every kroner will come back tenfold in the long run because of better security for the public, better sales, and so on. So, the benefits are quite clear. In the time coming, we have a number of things. Security management systems, which are developed worldwide, but also within Europe, for example, health care security. That means security in big hospitals and such. The second is border security because we have seen all sorts of problems with border security people changing borders with dangerous goods undeclared and so on illegal immigrants whatever these are very important things if you want to smuggle something into an airport because you want to attack a plane you have a lot of security that is necessary there so border security is important also the causes of accidents are mostly chemical or biological, like diseases and such, or radiological, like radioactive components. So CBRN, they call it, chemical, biological, radioactive, and nuclear, are very important. That's a priority. And the last priority within Europe as a whole is that we talk about crisis management. What should we do effectively to restore to normal conditions after a disaster? First of all, for any border crossing, whether it's an airport or whether it's a harbor, we need standards to make it secure for the people and not unsecure. Second, in terms of crisis, we must know who is helping each other. And how? What facilities do we need? Do we need ambulances? Do we need boats? Do we need blankets? And so on. And it can be in Europe, it can be outside Europe. Third, 
in terms of chemicals, dangerous goods. We must know which chemicals we must control and how to deal with them because we have seen a number of chemical factories that have exploded, been on fire and lots of chemicals have been spread and that is dangerous for the environment. So we must control that.